Hi muckers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having the best day ever. I really appreciate you clicking on my video today and I have a very juicy one for you today. Now, I haven't seen anyone talk about this so I'm gonna pat myself on the shoulder for that and the only reason was because I was scrolling through the Dodo which is like a news publication that posts really cute animal videos and I was scrolling down and I got so far down that I ended up watching a video about cats being rescued and then I was like, hold on, I recognize this voice. And then Moses literally appears and starts talking about the fact that he was the one that saved these cats. The cats in question, mm -hmm, that, you know, he got rid of because Trisha was jealous that he was giving the cats more attention than her. This video that he basically gave off to all of these publications to kind of make him this knight in shining armor that he saved these kittens. And I was going through the comment sections and all the comments are like, saved by Moses, what a sweet angel. This man deserves a hero award under the page of this. So it went viral on Twitter, it went viral on Facebook. However, this was posted on September 24th of 2021. So again, before any of the allegations against Moses really started picking up any of the drama and it's important to note that. So people really weren't aware at all. And also the audience of, especially the Dodo, is not one that I would really correlate with the drama community, so they're not aware of it. But anyway, I want to show you it today because I think it's super interesting now knowing the context of what happened to these little kitty cats. It's very interesting. So the Dodo on Twitter posted it, and again, when I tell you all the comments are like, this sweet man saved these little cats, and it's like, oh, if, babes, if only you knew. So I quoted the tweet last night and was like, super cute story, where are the cats now, may I ask, Dodo? And... People were loving my tweet because honestly it's just like it really goes to show how superficial a lot of these like saving animals stories are where people are doing it for their own gain and if you do or don't believe me here we have a great example within Moses and now his intentions in the moment of saving the cats do I believe that they were genuine probably however how genuine can you be if you're willing to save these animals make an entire profit out of it and then whenever your girlfriend not even fiance but girlfriend at the time is jealous that you're going back to your house to feed the cats and not spending time with her, you get rid of them. It's something to note. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, I think Dan has one of these cats now. And I also think one of these cats went to Shane and Ryland. And if I'm thinking of the correct story, that is the kitten that Shane and Ryland got that then was by Shane and Ryland's dog because they weren't properly how do I phrase this in a nice way without getting angry as a pet owner? They weren't being responsible enough to watch all of their animals. And dog, cat, let's not get into it. So if this is one of them cats as well, because I'm pretty sure they were just rapid firing giving these cats out like fucking meet and greet gifts in the end. It's interesting to note that this was how it was praised online at a certain time. So it says... Guy saves the tiniest kitten tangled in string in his garden, then realizes the mama cat was watching and hoping and happy the whole time. Thanks to Moses for sharing his footage with us. Follow him on TikTok. Moses TikTok. I wonder if this is still his... Yeah, this is still his TikTok. It's been rebranded now. And his YouTube. I wonder if this is still the same YouTube. Yep, it is. Water. That is him. So, this video is quite short. It's only three minutes long, but I thought, what better use of our time than to watch this video now again, knowing the context that we do, to kind of know what the overall opinion of Moses was and how he was first really introduced to mainstream media because it was this video and it has went really viral on all of these social media platforms. More specifically, Facebook, because Facebook moms were eating this up. They always do with cute cat videos. But on Twitter as well, it got like 200,000 views. So Moses on his own, a little viral superstar. Trisha needs to watch out. Maybe that's what got Trisha's attention. Trisha went, social media star, marry me. So let's get into it and we're just going to watch this video and go through it. Again, I started watching this video and then I abruptly stopped myself because I was like, I want to go through this with you for the first time. It's just me and you, Mucker. So let's go through it. So here is Knight and Shining Armor Moses Saving Kitten, which then was allegedly given away. It's not even alleged, but given away because the girl. Hey, buddy. Let me get some scissors, okay? Let me get you out, okay? 
I have a studio for my artwork and I love gardening. So outside I have a lot of plants. So I'm just watering the plants. I heard this cry, like a really odd cry. <laughs> And that was just Trisha. That was just Trisha inside the studio. Fuck me. <laughs> She's like crying, give me attention! And he's like, is that the cat? Oh no, it's Trisha on the kitchen floor. And then Kit Sunday, cat. this little kitten, and he was wrapped in this string. Her kitty. It was like a net. The string was so tight on his neck. And in the My favorite thing about this is that Moses saw a kitten in this very vulnerable situation and immediately went, got his phone, and came back and started filming it. It was like, look what I just find. I'm obsessed. Not immediately helping the kitten, but getting the phone. <laughs> Social media manager Trisha Paytas was working hard that day. Museum, there's an alley, and over the years there have been stray cats living in that alley. He was sitting on this little box. This kitty is so cute. It's so sad that he gave away his cats, but really cute. So from the look of it, he was up higher in the beginning. So he played with it or whatever. This kitten got caught in this net. If you have experience with cats, once they get caught... <laughs> Do you, Moses? Because you don't anymore. You don't anymore. Stress, no comment. Yeah. Spinning and turning. Yeah. So you could see that he was doing a lot of it. Yeah. At that moment, I was kind of shocked. Everything from that moment on was just like acting fast. I wasn't thinking much. <laughs> wasn't thinking much. This <laughs> upholds with a lot of Moses' actions. Listen. I'm not here to hate on this video. I'm so happy that he did this and saved the little kitty. I'm all for saving little kitties. I love it so much. It just, I look at this in a completely different light than the target audience are really looking at this just because I know that he had cats and gave them away and the text messages speak for themselves. Between him and ex-girlfriends, ex-friends, talking about Trisha not wanting the cats to be there. It's sad that he would change his morals for that. But that's I what people say do. That he was just so exhausted. With no food, no water, and tight, couldn't move. He was very passive at that moment, and also just, please help. Her kitty. The kitty is really trapped in there. Good on him for doing this. Good man, Moses. Does he have this up on a tripod? <laughs> or is Trisha filming this? I think he has this up on a tripod. He made sure to get the angles before this video. He said the Facebook moms are gonna get a great angle of this shit. The kitty's free. His mom was just sitting and looking. Oh my god, the mother is so cute too. <laughs> oh, I fucking love cats. Never hissed at me or, or tried to interfere. She just really was Oh, the kitty's a Trisha Paytas fan, it seems. Didn't hiss at him. Watching and hoping. So I took a pan of food and put some water in it and immediately brought it to the kitchen. He immediately started drinking. Oh my god, there's so many. Kind of getting They're wet. like multiplying. They're relating to the water. Wait, when Moses put down water, why didn't he just lie on the floor? Much to think about. To himself. And just to see him go back to his mom and playing around and seeing how happy the mom was. That, that was the best part at the end. Just to be able to be there, I just felt lucky that I got the opportunity to help. And then it says, special thanks to Moses. Okay, again, the feedback on this is basically saying, wow, I love a man who loves his cats. Babe on Twitter, I have some news for you if you think that he loves them cats enough. People are saying the guy was nice. I'm so happy he did this. This is really sweet. I finally love a good happy ending. Well, babe, let me tell you, there was not a happy ending for the cats within that household because they were yeeted out of there quickly. 
This is my thing, right? I'm really happy he did this, and I'm all for anyone doing this in saving animals and also just making them comfortable with whatever way that is, from saving them to just make them have a comfortable life. I'm so here for it. There's just something so disingenuous about this story now. Like, and I, I would be lying if I sat down here and was like, oh, like, I'm so happy that he did this and great story, whatever. I'm so happy that he did this, but I really do look at it from, like, a very disingenuous point of view now because I'm like, do you really love animals? You know, like, I don't care what partner I'm with. If they ever spoke against my animals, if they ever spoke against Dolly, Bonnie, Gomez, Tyler, Milo, out. Seriously. Like, you have to be an animal person as well. But furthermore in that, it's like, I can't imagine having a conversation where it's between a, a partner, you know, it's plural, two of them, and you're basically talking about, you know, that the cats are getting more attention than you, and the kind of conclusion you come to that is getting rid of your cats. It just makes me look at this story, and I'm sure it would make the Facebook mothers look at this from a completely, and the WhatsApp gang, because they all watch these videos too, they all share them amongst themselves, you know, the little aunties. I'm sure that like, they would look at this from a completely different point of view if they knew that he gave away the kitties. Like, right? So that's just where I'm at with it. And listen, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. Good for him for doing this. But in the follow-up on how he acted with the cats, I can't be supportive of it. And I want to know where you're at with it. What's your opinion on this video doing the rounds on its own? Like, Moses going viral on his own. Like, not Moses going viral because of Trisha. Like, Moses going viral. And because of the cat story. And then, you know, we've talked extensively about the cat drama with Moses and Trisha. So, applying that to the story, what's your opinion on it? Do you think it's fabricated? Do you also think it's performative? Do you think it's just the goodness of his heart? What do you think? I would love to know. Please talk to me below about it. I really appreciate your time and I appreciate you hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one. Stay safe, stay gorgeous, my Trishy Fishies. Bye. Mwah.